Hi everybody, it's Anthony. Today we're going to walk through the tools available to you on the toolbar of your Epson BrightLink projector. Your toolbar initially starts off down at the bottom here. It's this black bar that you see here on the right hand side. It's got PC interactivity and up and down arrow. And on the left hand side over here you've got a bunch of different icons starting with uh, something that looks like a house. So we're going to start over here on the right hand side of the board and on the right hand side we have PC interactivity which we can turn on and off. Right now I have it turned on so I'm able to manipulate my computer, click links, open up apps and things like that. If I wanted to turn that off, all I do is I take the marker and I turn that off. Now I have my marker tools available to me so I'm able to highlight or I'm able to change my pen to a pen and I can circle words. Uh, I can also draw shapes on it using the same thing. So lots of options there. Um, that's if I want to annotate. If I don't want to annotate and I do want to interact with my computer, like I said, what I want to do is make sure that I have uh, PC interactivity turned on so that I'm in PC operation mode. To the right of that button, you've got an up and down arrow. If I touch the up and down arrow, it's going to hide the toolbar so I have View, I can, I'm able to view the entire screen. I'm still able to manipulate the computer, move things up and down, click on links, open apps, and do all those things that I wanted to do with it initially. If I want the toolbar to come back, I'm going to hit the up and down arrow like that. That's for the right side of the board. On the left hand side of the board, if I touch the home button, the home button is going to bring us to this main menu here where we see all the various types of inputs. I've got HDMI inputs, I've got a computer input, a LAN input, screen mirroring, video, USB 1. Nine times out of 10, you're just gonna be using the HDMI um, 1 input. You may also be using HDMI 2, depending on what port you plug into on the wall, or screen mirroring, so, or, or even LAN. That's all, those are the wireless connections for the computers to the projectors. Um, but those are the only ones, generally, that you're gonna be using. You also have access to some tools down here, your whiteboard, split screen, screen sharing, and a connection guide, and some settings too. For now, we're just going to stick with what's being displayed from the laptop and continue through these different tools. The next tool you have, it looks like a sound icon or in a square icon with a slash through it. That's to mute your board. So if you have to stop uh, presenting for just a second because an announcement comes on, or you're saying something really important for the kids that you want them to hear, you're going to press that button and it's going to shut the screen down and it's going to turn the sound off. So everything is muted. So that's good for, like I said, for a quick announcement or something like that. And then when you want it to come back, you're just going to press that icon again and it's going to come back to what you were displaying before. The next icon that you have here is a plus and a magnifying glass. That's your zoom tool. Your zoom tool allows you to zoom in and you can move the page around to get a particular area that you want to be zoomed in on. You can zoom out. The times one button in the magnifying glass is going to bring you back to 100% viewing. So that brings you back to normal viewing there. And then you have a selection tool. The selection tool is going to allow you to select an area on the screen that you want to zoom in on so that it is, you're drawing attention to that particular area. And again, to go back to regular viewing, you're going to hit times one, and that's going to bring you back to 100% viewing. The next icon that you have is a camera tool. The camera tool is going to take a quick screen capture of what's being displayed on the board. You can either opt to take the full screen capture or a selected area. I'm going to touch full screen, and what it's going to do is take a picture of the whole screen. And now, like you see, the little pop up there, it's been sent to the whiteboard. So to get to the whiteboard, you're going to touch this next icon, which is the whiteboard icon. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring up the picture of what it took on the left-hand side and display the live uh, picture of what's coming from your laptop on the right-hand side. Notice you've got three bars here in the middle. That's where your screen is split. You can drag that to the right or left, depending on how big you want whichever side of the screen. If you want your website to be small or what's being displayed from your laptop to be small, and a bigger whiteboard area, you can do that, or vice versa. So now that I have this, I'm able to use the same tools that I talked about before with marking up the board. So I'm able to use all the markup tools that I want, and then if I want to clear up 
the board if I want to get rid of this picture and get rid of anything I marked up and just have a clean whiteboard. I'm just going to hit the trash can button here and it's going to ask me if I want to clear the screen. Yes, I do. And it's going to clear the screen and give me a nice clear whiteboard. So I can continue working with this. I continue working with this. I can go to different pages and whatnot. Um, I can do whatever I need to do. If I want to make notes up on that side, I can do that. And when I'm done with that, I can either hit the whiteboard button over there on the left or I can click these three buttons and I can drag them all the way to the left to close down the whiteboard split screen there. You notice that there's three dots. Three dots usually means there's more settings and more options. So when you touch that, you see that you have mail, save, and print. That's relating to anything that you've saved, um, any screenshots, screen captures, things like that. You can mail or save or print those. Uh, timer will start a uh, timer. It's, you can count up or count down, so you can do a stopwatch, or you can do a timer uh, to count down from a particular time. You can also adjust the volume, share your projection, so that's going to be for wireless uh, sharing. View your participant list, so see which devices are connected to the projector and want to share, so then you can select which student is going to pre present next. Um, and then for help, there's a guidance button to show you what you need to do. Um, so those are the basic tools on your toolbar. If you need any help with any of that or any other ed tech issues that you have with any of the technology in your classroom, Please let us know. Happy to help at any time. Hope you have a great day.